Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to create a OneDrive account. Uh, what OneDrive is, is a way to store files online. Uh, and this product is created by Microsoft. Uh, there are a few other online options for storing files, but this is one option that I happen to like, and I think you guys might like it as well. So let's go ahead and get started. If you do not already have a Outlook account, you can create one. Uh, if you do, you can click sign in, but we're going to go ahead and click sign up just to show you the process. If you don't have an account, you will click uh, create Microsoft account. And then what you'll do is put in your first name and last name and just fill up, uh, fill in all of this. Putting, a, putting in a uh, cell phone number or a phone number period is optional. And then I would highly suggest that you click this little square so that Microsoft does not send you promotional offers. But if you want promotional offers you can go ahead and leave that selected you can use your own email you can use a gmail if you want um, but if you don't have an email uh, then you can click get new email address and then you can uh, create an email and you have it be a at outlook or at hotmail uh, but yeah but since I already have a account I'm going to click the sign in button so I'm going to type in my email and log in. <coughs> Once you log in, you will get uh, three little uh, squares per se across the top, kind of explaining what uh, OneDrive can do. And somewhere in there, there might be a link. Uh, for downloading um, or how to download OneDrive to your computer, whether it be a Mac or Windows. But if you skipped all that, if you just clicked like the Get Started and hit Next like three or four times and missed everything, that's completely okay. Because then you can come down to the bottom left and click Get OneDrive Apps, and a new tab will open. Since I am on a Mac, uh, then I can click here. Uh, otherwise, you can go to uh, the Mac App Store, search OneDrive, and then hit Install. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Once you have it downloaded and installed, you will get a window like this. Uh, and you'll need to go ahead and click Get Started. Uh, then you'll need to log in with the email you used to create your OneDrive account. And click sign in and you can have it open at login I like to have it open at login just so I know that my OneDrive is there so I don't have to keep uh, opening OneDrive and making sure things are synced then it just opens when I log in and I know it'll start syncing right away next we need to choose our OneDrive folder location I'm gonna put it in the documents folder so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, choose this location I'm going to hit next and you can have it you can choose to sync all the folders that folders and files that go into your OneDrive or you can just choose specific folders to sync but I want all the files in my OneDrive to sync uh, with the folder on my computer and online so I'm going to click done <coughs> so as you can see it is done uh, installing and everything is up to date. Um, and the little black bar means that everything is syncing. So there are two ways you can upload files to your OneDrive. You can uh, do it via OneDrive.com uh, using this method. Uh, and then there's the method from straight from your computer uh, with a um, internet connection, of course. Uh, you can click and drag documents into your OneDrive and OneDrive will take a little bit for it to sync. Um, and you see that's what it's doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and re refresh the page. So as you can see our document is now there. <coughs> uh, 
with OneDrive because it's created by Microsoft and Microsoft creates uh, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Uh, if you upload a Word, PowerPoint, or Excel document uh, in your OneDrive, you can edit this document online uh, if you so wish. Otherwise, you can tell your computer to open up whatever the required program. You can also share documents with other users. You can share via email and uh, give a note. You can click recipients can edit or have them view only and choose if they need a Microsoft account or if they don't. You don't have to do it via email, otherwise you can do it via link and on use a link on social media or something. Uh, you can have it be a view only, you can have it be an edit, or it can be a public document. But let's say we want them to be able to edit, so we'll click create link. And then the nice thing is you can create multiple links. So I could create a link for each kind if I wanted to. So if I want them to be, be able to edit, I can share this type of link uh, wherever and if you click shorten link then you get a nice looking short link instead of the long URL that is obnoxious to look at and people won't necessarily want to click it. So yeah, so you can use links to share with people. You can add comments if your document is actually shared with people but since this one is only shared with me making comments is kind of pointless. Uh, you can download your document and download it as a PDF. And you see previous versions. And you can embed a Microsoft document on like your website or something. Uh, anywhere where you will take HTML code. I believe that's what it does. Yep, HTML code. So I'm going to go back to my OneDrive. And that is essentially how you you would use um, OneDrive. And if you want to upload a document to through OneDrive.com, you can do so by clicking Upload. You can uh, upload specific files, or you can upload specific folders, and vice versa for uh, the, via the folder on your computer. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Go hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and be updated whenever I upload new tutorials. Also, go hit the other red subscribe button to subscribe to my main channel for whenever I upload interesting content. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.